What happened? The internet went down. Hi everybody! Happy Sunday morning to you. Happy Memorial Day weekend. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Thank you to all who served. We thank you for your service. And uh, today's video, before we get too far into it, is brought to you by Wicked! Just kidding. We're not sponsored. <laughs> I wish we were. Um, but go out and support your local theater because that shit's important. You need to go out and get yourself cultured up. So go out and do that. Um, and also, we're getting important up in here. Had to make some signs because somebody likes to print their Sudoku puzzle while we're in the middle of recording. Also, we made one for the dogs because our dogs can read and they went to school. So keep your dogs in school. Keeps them out of trouble. Put them in sports whatever, you know, all of that stuff. Um, also, today we're going to do a real estate video and we're gonna touch on a CMA or comparative market analysis. And that's the report that I put together when someone calls and asks me, hey, I'm thinking about selling my house. Can you tell me what you think it would be worth? And maybe we can get it on the market and get it sold. Call me. I do that stuff. So this is my process, what I go through um, to figure out the strategy, how we're going to price your home. But there all are other variables such as um, how fast you want to sell it. If you're not in a hurry to sell it, that might affect how we price it as well. Because if you if you're in a hurry to sell it, we might price it a little bit under maybe what it's worth. So these are. The five things to know when preparing a comparative market analysis or a CMA. And uh, I know what I'm talking about because I have this realtor pin on and I have a blazer. So, listen to me. So, number one, you want to know the neighborhood. Uh, number two, you want to pre assess online. Number three, you want to assess in person. Number four, you want to pick comparable properties or comps, AKA pull comps. And number five, prepare the report. So this is my strategy and my process. So this probably is how a lot of realtors, I would think, get to their pricing point of pricing a, a, a home. So five things to know when preparing a comparative market analysis. Now, number one, know the neighborhood. And that is, what quality is the neighborhood? Do the neighbors keep up their homes? Is there pride of ownership? Are there schools nearby? Are there parks? Is there restaurants, theater, entertainment, maybe public transportation, things of that nature? Number two, you want to pre-assess online, so do your homework. You want to gather all the information you can about that specific property that you're trying to price for your potential client. And that's uh, maybe pull up tax records and see what square footage is, see what the number of bedrooms, baths, the features of the home, things like that. Um, is it on concrete? Is it on, uh, does it have crawl space underneath? All of that can you know the age of the home is it falling apart you know those kinds of things number three you want to assess in person so this is you want to know the specifics but you also want to take a look at the house because how old is the roof is it sagging is it possibly leaking inside um, is the floor sagging because if it has a crawl space and it's, it was built a long time ago, that could turn into an issue. So all of these things you wanna you wanna think about when you're pricing it because is it going to need repairs? Do you know if it's going to need repairs? Things like that. Um, number four, pick comparable. <laughs> I need a margarita <laughs> or Bloody Mary. It is Sunday, so pick comparable properties or AKA pull comps. And that's when you find properties as similar to your uh, specific property that you're trying to 
trying to price out. So similar lot size, similar uh, square footage, bedrooms, baths, does it have a pool, what features does it have? You want to you wanna pick the homes that are as close and similar to yours as possible. So you can get a really good feel of, um, of, of what those houses have sold for, what they're priced at, um, what they're pending at, and uh, what features and things like that. And you want to do as close as possible. So I usually start at a quarter of a mile radius around my, my specific property that I'm trying to price out. Now, sometimes you have to go out a little wider like especially if you're you're out in Sanger or maybe Fryant or Kerman, you're out in the country somewhere, um, you might have to go out a little wider to find properties to compare to yours. And number five, you want to prepare the report for your client. You wanna you wanna spell it out. I like to spell it all out and I like to list the properties, current properties that are for sale that are comparable to yours. Uh, ones that are pending and then ones that have sold because that's a big indicator of of what people are paying for the properties in that neighborhood based on the square footage and age of the home and what what shape it's in have you recently renovated um, have you not done anything to it in the last 20 or 30 years because that all impacts the pricing so um that's about it. Um, and it's good to have a realtor. It's good to have somebody with one of these pins because we're held to a higher standard. Um, I know that sounds a little cheesy, but it's true. We have to do more um, continued education classes. We have to hold ourselves to a, a bit of a higher standard. So um, we have ethics and morals. and Every agent should have that anyways but you know what it is so this report and along with the knowledge and experience in the industry having a good realtor uh, really makes an impact on pricing your property correctly and uh, getting it sold as quickly as possible because that's the goal right for everybody to get their property sold as quick as they can um and that's about it for today so let's make this short and sweet. I think I'm going to post up a blooper video uh, that we tried to record with the dogs in the room. Uh, and that didn't work out very well. So uh, we, might, we might put that up too as just a little bonus to y'all. Because I, I love my subscribers. All 23 of you. 20, 23 I believe I have now. So what's up with that, guys? Come on now. I know I got more family than that. So y'all need to hit that like, subscribe, comment if you want to. I love, I love to see the comments, and I'll comment back to you as soon as I can. Um, but hit that subscribe button because we need to boost this up. You guys are embarrassing yourselves. So let's, let's get on that. <laughs> Have a great Memorial Weekend. And again, we thank you all veterans um, for your service. We really, really, really are grateful for that. Because that has given us a really nice life and um, good blessings. So blessings to you all. Take care. Be kind. And subscribe for goodness sakes. Come on. Let's do this. See ya.